it, we, I say we, I'm Australian, but I love England, I've mm -hmm. lived here all of my life. We were playing against a bunch of foreigners the other night. They call the Croatian national team. Mm. The touch on all of those players was better. They've qualified for the European Championships and England haven't yep. because the touch wasn't there. But more alarmingly, this time around, the heart wasn't there that we're used to seeing from an England performance. And they, they, they beaten us twice in that particular round. But, but he, he, you can do as many surveys yeah. as you like. The manager and the players were to blame the other night, right? We thought there would be a rallying comeback. There was for 10 minutes, but mm. that was it. You, you, you look at your, your rugby team, right, how well they did in, in, in the World Cup just gone. You look at the cricket team. Englishness is about the fighting spirit. Yeah. What they are lacking is the foreign touch well, this, and finesse. This, this is interesting because the, the survey, again, uh, in terms of lack of motivation among England players, only 3% of them thought that was the case. But, I mean, certainly, as you say, in terms of the passing, uh, the finishing... And just looking at where the players were, yeah. you knew Croatia were going to do something every time they got the ball. When, it, when an England player got it, you thought, well, you know, what's going to happen? Mate, Boot it up the field to Peter Crouch. Th this is this time around. I still haven't forgiven what happened in the World Cup against Trinidad and Tobago yeah. and the other lesser teams. Every time a World Cup comes along or a European Championship, it's the same debate, simply because the touch is not there, and that drifts down to the grassroots. But one would think that with all these foreign players in the Premier League, that our English players would actually learn and look at their skills. That is exactly the issue, and that is exactly what should be happening, but it's not. Kevin Keegan said it when he was England manager, English kids are lazy. How many kids do you see out there on the streets, right, practicing their left foot, their right foot, dri dri dribbling in and out of pol poles and cones, right? You go to Italy, you go to Brazil, you go to France, you go to Croatia. I was the at Croatia. individual ball skills. Mate, in the summer I was in Croatia. There was kids everywhere, mm. even when it was dark, playing by street lamps, right? Practicing their skills three and four hours a day. English kids are lucky, and they are lazy. Keegan was right. If they spend three or four minutes a day on their fundamental skills, the kids are lazy, and there's no so, system from the so top. What, what do schools then, and, and, and youth sides, and the, what do they actually do in their training that, that they, you know, we ma, are ma, missing ma, out on? Ma, let, let me tell you, it starts at the top, and it's a shambles at the top. The FA. Okay. So the schools do a different. The schools fight with the FA. The FA fights with the academies. The academies think they're better than anyone else, and are now adopting all the foreign kids right. in our academies. That's the scandal. Not that there's players playing in the Premier League, yeah. but the foreign kids are now taking all the berths. That is now when I've, I've had enough, because I'm a youth team coach. Mm, I, I developed a systematic database for skills.